Business Responsibility on Preventing and Addressing Forced Labor in Malaysia A must-read guide for Malaysian employers A collaboration between Malaysian Employers Federation and the International Labor Organization The ILO Convention on Forced Labor 1930 number 29 defines forced labor as all work or service which is exacted from any person under the menace of any penalty and for which the said person has not offered himself or herself voluntarily all work or service includes all type of work services and employment and encompasses legal or illegal and formal or informal employment any person refers to adults and children regardless of nationality and including undocumented migrants menace of penalty refers to threat of penal sanctions or loss of rights or privileges which includes coercion deception violence intimidation retention of identity documents, confinement or non-payment of wages, as well as threat to report to authorities. Voluntariness refers to the free and informed consent of a worker to enter or continue in employment. What are the indicators of forced labor? Employers can eliminate risks of forced labor by ensuring that there is no Abuse of vulnerability, and this includes the worker's unfamiliarity with the neighborhood, worker's inability to speak the local language, not having a written contract in the language worker understands, being frequently transferred from one workplace to another, having to sleep at the workplace and or lives and works in the same place. Deception includes Deception in promised wages or working and living conditions Where the worker was recruited for one job but employed in another job Or the worker's earnings are held by the employer and worker has no direct access to it Isolation could be avoided by ensuring that workers are free to access public places and services and not kept isolated by location or behind closed doors or denied access to their communication devices. Any kind of physical and sexual violence is unacceptable under any circumstances. Workers should not be intimidated or threatened following their complaints about their conditions or intention to quit their jobs. Instead, their complaints should be heard and investigated and resolved through negotiations. Retention of identity documents is an element of forced labor if workers are unable to access them on demand. Workers' wages shall not be systematically and deliberately withheld as a means to compel the worker to remain in their jobs, thus denying them the opportunity to change employer. Often migrant workers work to pay off debts incurred before arriving in Malaysia, and worker may receive wage advances or loans from the employer. To avoid being accused of debt bondage, such wage advances or loans should not be artificially inflated, including imposing exorbitant interest rates. Workers should not be subjected to abusive working and living conditions. Excessive hours above what is permitted under Malaysian laws can also amount to forced labor if there is some penalty involved. Restriction of movement. Source countries of migrant workers to Malaysia. The movement of a migrant worker from his or her country to Malaysia can be a complex process that may involve risks of possible forced labor. The ILO's general principles and operational guidelines for fair recruitment and the definition 
of recruitment fees and related costs offer guidance to the government, employers, recruitment agencies and other relevant stakeholders regarding forced labour. Employers engaging employment agencies must conduct proper due diligence and regular audits of employment agencies including other sub-agents in both the source country and in Malaysia with the view to learn and assess the policies and practices of the agencies, ensure the agencies do not have any record of fraudulent or deceptive practices, engage only licensed employment agencies, ensure the workers have proper documentation and have completed all legal procedures in source countries. Ensure the terms of the employment contract accurately reflects the actual work and in the language understood by the worker. Ensure that all workers are treated fairly during the recruitment process. Ensure the agency does not impose fees to the workers in compliance with the general principles and operational guidelines on fair recruitment. Ensure the workers meet the selection criteria of employers. Ensure the workers are given appropriate pre-departure orientation, including information about Malaysia, their rights, obligations and access to remedy. Provide accurate information about the nature of job and conditions of work. All costs associated with recruitment, including work permit, levy, medical examination, air ticket, agency fee and related documentation to be borne by the employer. Prior to departure, the worker should be briefed about Malaysia, workplace conditions, the employment contract terms and conditions, accommodation, rights and responsibilities, and required job skills. Employers may provide fair and transparent employment contract by providing written contracts to all workers in a language they understand, ensuring the workers receive fair and equal treatment as local workers and have similar contract terms and conditions. Clearly indicating in the contract the workers' wages, working hours, rest day and other terms and conditions as per the Employment Act 1955. A fair and transparent contract should contain the worker's full name, date and place of birth and passport number or equivalent identification, worker emergency contact information, contract duration and conditions of renewal, nature and place of work, worker's occupational designation, wage rates for regular work, overtime and holiday including maximum allowable overtime hours, how and when the salary would be paid, work hours for regular work, overtime, rest days and holidays, bonuses, indemnities and allowances if any, and other non-cash compensation and work-related benefits including medical benefits, sick leave, emergency and annual leave. Authorized deductions in accordance to the Employment Act and other applicable laws and regulations. Accommodation, including any applicable costs. No prohibition on the workers' rights to join a union, organize or engage in collective bargaining, subject to applicable laws and regulations. A clear breakdown of costs to be borne by the worker and that to be borne by the employer, such as costs for travel, medical, travel documentation, and other associated items. Terms and conditions for which the contract may be prematurely terminated.